and we're back. We don't have any alcohol, so don't mind me. God, that smells awful. That could be worse. <laughs> We are back with our uh, Alien ranking series as of right now. Because we're also going to be including the Predator series in this too. But this is kind of like a where we're standing at now with Alien stuff. But, I mean, I guess if we want to give our Alien only ranking... This would, this would technically be our... Alien ranking series. Yes, individual. So what we're going to do is, is we finished Alien. Yes. We're going to do a alien ranking of just the alien series then we're going to do just a predator and then we'll come together and do uh which movies are better between the two if that i think is the plan <sighs> yep so we are now going to declare the best and worst alien movies yeah and we're both gonna go from our number eight say our number eights discuss and then go from there makes the video a little bit longer but i'll make the discussion a little bit more entertaining and if you guys want to drop your list down below i think last time we did it with friday the 13th yes we did we got some comments on there we really appreciated that mm -hmm. so if yeah. you guys want to we will discuss about why um alien 4 is your favorite movie and um, don't also also don't worry we'll be doing other movie franchises in the future as well yep there's your God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right um michael if you want to start with your number eight my number eight in this Alien ranking franchise, if we are including the crossovers, is AVPR. We agree on that one. I, I believe that AVPR is the worst of the series. Because AVPR, in my opinion, has the worst cast, it has the worst direction, it has the worst filming crew, it has the worst story, the worst dialogue. Uh, you, I've seen at least five other YouTube movies that are better than this. For me, it felt like something that I would watch on on Sci-Fi Channel. <laughs> yes. Like, it was so cringe. The stories weren't good. The They're made by Asylum. There's a lot of bad... Yeah, there's a lot of bad logic. So, I didn't... I didn't like it at all. I think that was the worst one of the series. I mean, there was tiny things here and there that made it cool, but it... it, it they really didn't do anything for it. It's still like the worst one my number seven should be fucking obvious so technically it's number eight and number seven are tied but i'd rather watch this film again if i really had to because it has a better cast and at number my number seven is alien resurrection the film is still bad but the only thing that it has over avpr it has a better cast so this is the one that i think you might give me some slack for and maybe some others my second worst, placing at number seven, is Prometheus. Okay, so... Obviously, I do disagree, but I know that Prometheus has... A, no, no, Prometheus has a really weird, like, semi-hatred to it because when the film first came out, it had a lot of unanswered questions. That's also because people didn't sit there and actually pay attention and watch the movie. I've seen it several times. It makes sense to me. And then when Covenant came out, they were like, well, how come it's not like the first? Not I like Prometheus. And then it started getting a following. And I'm like, do you like or hate the movie? It's, it's, re it's weird. Prometheus is a really weird movie. You either are really going to like it or you're really going to hate it just by the fact that you have to understand what's going on. The way that they made Prometheus. I, it's not that it had stuff you had to pay attention to. I'm a big fan of things that you have to pay attention to in continuality. For me, Prometheus, the thing that killed it was this was in current current day times with good CGI and technology. At 2012, but point still taken. Still amazing compared to everything else. This should have been fantastic from bottom to top, graphically everything. There was no excuse for that white alien dude to look so bad. They're awful. They are awful. That is worse than the goddamn um, Avatar people from, from um, Avatar. It looked oh, so bad. Oh, oh, oh. I am feeling the hate coming toward this video in the near future. I, I still don't know. Good how that, fucking God. I still don't know how that movie is the highest grossing movie of all time. My number six should be also obvious. It's AVP. This film 
I st- the thing that this film has over the other two is that it's more so boring than bad. Like, it's still bad, but it's still boring. My number six is Alien 3. Uh, to do each their own. Alien 3 was bad. It was unnecessary. The series should have ended after that. Ruined the, the good thing that they built in 2. Um, and it was probably... Uh, it, it was the stupid prison thing with everyone being British there. Um, I really didn't like that. The whole story felt... The movie dragged almost worse than most of them. Um, and there is not much payoff. I really hated how they killed off Rip- Ripley. I wish they would have did something else. Um, but yeah, so that's why I put that at number six. So my number five, which I feel like you're going to disagree with this, is Alien to the Third Power. It is well documented that the entire fucking Alien franchise, like lo- like people who love it, hate the fucking first ten minutes of this movie. But for me, the special edition with how... I. Yes, it, some of it doesn't really make any sense, and it's kind of like sens- uns- unsensible bullshit, but for me, it's just how they interacted, how they delivered their lines, even though it was just like, blah, 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 blah. and like, yeah, the send-off was kind of silly, but at the same time, it felt like a definitive ending, like, this is where the series should end, like, it felt like it should have ended here. In your opinion, you, you, you regard that movie as better than I regard it. So yeah, I understand. And, it. and, like, it still sits as, like, a 5 out of 10 because I still don't know how I feel about the movie because I hate it, but I also don't completely hate it because the second half of the special edition weirdly gets more entertaining. My number 5 is Alien 4, a.k.a. Resurrection. I don't have to. I don't have to go into details. We just we, <laughs> yeah. Just just explain your trauma. That's I, all you got to do. I just talked about it. The movie was not good. It was. It had some really bad parts. The only movie thing I liked about the movie was Ron Perlman being a jackass. A jackass or a it, dumbass? It's like they told him, "Hey, be the most over the top jackass you can." It's like, well, can I drop a knife on a guy who's paralyzed? Absolutely. Okay, I'm in. Then I'm gonna make monkey noises first, though. Now we're getting into the four films that I actually like. Um, Obviously, one of my top four, the reason why I put this one at number four is because of the um, issues that it had gotten over the years. Not for me personally, but, I mean, out of the four films, this one is kind of the weakest because, again, it's hard to understand. It should be obvious what I'm talking about. My number four is Prometheus. I already explained it when you brought it up in your number seven, but, again, I like how the story went. And how we're, the direction it's going. There's some things that I wish they would have done different. But I would rather watch Prometheus again than any of the other four previous movies that I have listed already. So, my number four puts it at AVP. I really enjoy AVP other than it being slow. Most other things I like about the film. Um, and, and I know Mike doesn't. But the storytelling of AVP I enjoy the whole Predators catching them and, and doing it for blooding it's just boring that's it it's just boring I don't I did not find it boring I found a good lore in it um, I mean it had lore and it was good it's just it, 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 if you skip past, it looks like a movie you would see on a Tuesday night at 3 in the morning this whole series is like a movie you'd see at Tuesday night what is your number 3 Mike my number 3 is Aliens the Colonial Marine one. I really, really do enjoy Aliens, and the weird thing about this film is that the sequel, for some people, is better than the original film, and vice versa for the the other party. I like Aliens a lot, and everything. I really have nothing really bad to say about it. It's just it's at number three, and everything, and I feel like I should give Aliens a bit more love than I have over the years. My number three, and this is where we're going to diverge with some of the fans that will disagree with me. My number three is the original Alien movie. I felt like the Alien movie was okay. It was what I hate about Alien, which is it's slow and bad pacing. Um, I really love the face hugger thing. I think that movie has the best one for the face hugger developing the way it should in the interest of the alien i feel like that that aspect's the best has the best growth time for the xenomorph is that what you're trying to say yes but the other two movies alien 2 and 
and Covenant, I think do a better job overall as movies, storytelling, pacing. So I put that at number three. My number two is Alien. Uh, I kind of feel like I know where this is going because you and I are like the two different parties when it comes to the first two films. One like it depends on what kind of movie you like more. I like I like the more horror aspect of the first film. Again, I don't do not like Aliens. I love Aliens as much as Alien, but if I want to watch a horror movie, I'd pick Alien. What's your number two? My number two is Alien 2. I had to choose between Alien 2 and Covenant, and one thing that, that puts Alien 2 at number two for me is the game that fucked with this movie is Alien um, Colonial Marines. Oh, Colonial Marines, the, the game that... The only reason why the game was bad is because the people who made the game code literally fucked it up and literally I learned that a game coder literally went into the game code patched up the game code the best he could and the game was still clunky but it worked so much better than the original version of it which is fucking sad so from the second that the, the very second that, that they listed that they said we're the colonial marines I checked out of the movie uh, but I do think that pacing wise character development uh, it had a perfect ending for the series. I think it should have ended right there. It should have just been Alien 1, Alien 2. I agree. I agree. It should have ended with a with Aliens. I'd be fine if we never saw any other movie after that or before that. Covenant, all that other stuff. I, if, if I could sacrifice Covenant and Prometheus to get rid of 3 and 4, I would do it. And I think it's very quite obvious what our number ones are. What number ones are. And I know it's probably very controversial with a lot of fans out there because this film gets a lot of fucking hate, and I still don't see it. I'll do the, I'll do the blowing. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't see the hate behind um, this film. It's it's. I think this is a Star Wars issue. It has. I mean, it could be. Do you know what I mean by Star Wars issue? If you would like to explain it for the viewers. By the way, both of our number ones is Alien Covenant. If you haven't catched on. Um. So. Depends on where you. Some sometimes when a movie is made, when you're a kid, you get nostalgia for that. So you say, "Oh, this is the greatest thing ever!" Like the original trilogy of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. But then when we grow up with the prequels, we say the prequels are really good. Some people are going to be angry at me even saying that about Star Wars. Anyways, um, yeah, exactly. That's why I can't say things like that without pissing off fifty percent of the people. And then I got fifty percent of other people saying, "Yeah, the prequels are good. We grew up on it. Anakin's amazing." Now, switching this over to here, um, Alien, if you're a little bit older, you might think that this is the greatest thing ever. They did it perfect. It's a masterpiece. You, you can try to convince me that all the <gasps> is uh, arts of works of art. It's like something that I could do towards you that I've tried to do over the years. Um, and then when I've seen Covenant, I say Covenant's better because it was produced better, in my opinion. And see, like, when, whenever I was doing the individual, like, rank, like ratings of the films, I'm pretty sure that I put both the original Alien and Covenant at the same, like, rating for me. Because, basically, in my opinion, that both films did their job. Both films did hit, hit the marker what they were doing. And, like, these are two, these two films are, like, the close to perfect films in the series. Like... A couple hiccups here and there, nothing to gripe about. But for me, like ranking wise, like rating wise, Alien and Covenant, Alien and Alien Covenant are the two best films. But I had to pick one which is better, uh, based off the fact that fucking David is fun to watch be a goddamn jackass. Alien Covenant is number one on my ranking. <laughs> If you guys would like to participate in, in an active discussion in the comments, we will be waiting for you guys to tell us about how much Covenant is the best movie and Alien 1 sucks, or vice versa. This is Mike Check 95 and we are signing out of our Alien ranking slash Alien versus Predator ranking slash anything involving Xenomorph ranking series. We will see you next time on Trivia Night. Mm -hmm.